In this video, we look at how we can create new database and new table in MySQL Server. Now let's get started. So I already have installed MySQL Server on my uh, Windows system and I will use MySQL Workbench to connect to MySQL database. So now let's go to uh, Windows menu and here I can see this MySQL Workbench. So click on that. So here on my system, I have a local instance of MySQL. So I have a user root for my local instance of MySQL. So I will double click on that to connect to my MySQL database. So here you have to set the uh, password for your root user and click on OK. So now we connect to our uh, MySQL instance. So here you can see I already have two databases created. One is called Sakila and second is World. And this database is the, is the default database or MySQL database. So to create the database, so here in the MySQL workbench you have this this button which says create a new schema. So just click on that. When you click on that you have to enter the name of your schema or database so i say um, my db and here you, you you can use this default character set in both the default one and click on apply so when you click on apply it will give you the the syntax to create the schema so here you can see it says create schema and then my db and now let's go ahead and click on apply so it uh, says executed sql statement and i click on finish so now let's close this so here you can see we have this mydb uh, database is created so now just double click on that so this mydb is activated or is set as a default database and within that we have a tape called table view store procedure and function so right now we do not have a, any tables inside my database so all these objects are blank so now we'll see how you can create the database same way you have another icon it says create a new table in the active schema so our active schema is my db so i will click on that so here uh, we have to set the name of our table so I will say EMP so your table name and all the columns are not cases sensitive so you can either use uppercase lowercase or even you can use the init cap as well so here I set the table name EMP and now I have to add the column to my table so here you have this arrow sign so just click on click on that so here uh, you have to set your uh, column so here just double click on that and you have to give the the name of the first column so i will say uh, set as eid and or employee id and my data type will be integer and i set as a primary key and not null and second same way if i want to add another column so i will say emp and i will say name and i will set worker i will set it to worker 50. so obviously name will have a character set so i'm gonna set as a worker 50 and i will set is not null same way i will add another column which is my EMP department and I'm gonna set this as integer so we'll have this three column EMP, EMP ID EMP name and EMP department so once you are done with uh, setting up all your column name and data type uh, now you just have to click on apply so once you click on apply you will see the 
the create statement for your table so here we have this create table and then your schema name then your table name then whatever the column you have and here we set this primary key as employee id so at the end you see uh, you see uh, see that primary key set as employee id so to execute is just click on apply so now we got the message it says sql script for successfully apply to the database now click on finish and we might have to close this so when you go to this table here you will see that and the our temp, uh, table call employee and then you have columns and you have this column employee id employee name and department even you can create the table using create statement so i say create and then table and i say our uh, department as my table and then i'm going to set department id and i say int and same same way i will have department name i say varchar 50 and if i execute this so i select it and here you have execute button so just click on that so our second table is created so now let's refresh this so here you can see this second table which is department table so there are some keywords you can use along with your create statement so if you already have a, a table with the same name and if you try to execute that okay it gives you error create table department is already exists so in that case uh, you can have a constraint create table if not exist now if you execute this okay you will not have error message rather you will have a warning message so whenever you have a create statement in your code and if you don't want to have error occur if your already table exists so in that case you can have a constraint if not exists you can also create the table using different uh, another existing table so for that you say create table and your table name so i will say department 1 then you say like and you say department and if you execute this so it will create the table called department 1 same as department so in this case it copied the data from department along with the table definition so if you refresh this you will see the third table that is department 1 you can also create the table using select statement so i say create table i will say emp1 and i say as and say select uh emp id emp name de department name from emp inner join department on <coughs> department id equal to department id and we see emp dot and this department dot so first let's execute the select statement so here we have emp department and first let's execute select statement so this is fine now you see execute the statement so it says uh, it says to create table emp1 
is created using this one. To insert data into your table, there are multiple ways you can do as one is you say select star from EMP and execute that. Here you just have to click on this one and say employee one, employee name John and employee ID is two. And same way you have two and Alex and uh, employee department is the same too and here you have this apply so you say apply same way it will give you the two insert statement which will be executed in my DB and now click on apply so it says SQL uh, script was successfully applied to the database now click on finish so again if you query this you see two records you can also use the insert statement like insert into your table which is EMP and then you're gonna have this column name then you say employee ID then EMP name and you will have EMP department and then you say values and you're gonna give the values like three comma then string I'm gonna have mm, a, a and the department is gonna have four and bracket this and now let's execute that so I think there's issue with this name I say EMP name and let's execute this so one column is insert uh, sorry one row is inserted that's all for this video I hope this video help you to create a new database uh, into your mysql database and also give some idea how you can create the new tables and insert few records into your table or also I try to explain what are the different way of creating the tables in a, any database and thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video